All right, very good. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, welcome to uh, Biz Talks with Fred Holmes. Uh, I'm Fred Holmes, so welcome. Uh, this evening, uh, I'm excited. I've got a, a very special guest with me. I'm going to bring on in a couple of moments, but uh, uh, let me just kind of uh, set up the, the, the next several minutes that we're going to be together. Uh, this Thursday evening broadcast, for those of you that have uh, joined me live, or maybe you've been directed to the, um, uh, to the uh, video recording of this uh, at a later time, uh, this information this evening, what we're going to do is we're going to give you a little overview of a company by the name of ZJ International. Uh, tell you a little bit about what we've got going on, what we're looking like here for the next uh, oh several months leading up to our, our uh, you know end of the year. This is going to be uh, completing our 11th year in business now. And uh, many of you have been invited to take a look at this by perhaps a friend or a family member who's been sharing with you a little bit of information about uh, the Zija products, uh, our Moringa products. Perhaps they've been talking uh, a little bit about the opportunity to be with a company uh, that's that's literally on the verge of exponential growth. Uh, for whatever reason you've been invited, uh, this information is really for you. Uh, I encourage you to maybe grab a pen and paper. You might want to jot down a few notes. We'll, we'll go over some information, and, and certainly uh, this is only going to be a few minutes. It's just kind of an overview. Uh, we're going to give you some information here in a couple of moments before we close on how to get additional information, how to get your questions answered. Uh, but the objective this evening was to give you exposure to what's happening with our company. Uh, ZJ International, we're a relatively young company. Uh, as I said, we're in our 11th year in business. Uh, but what's amazing about this company is the, the ingredients that have come together to put together an opportunity uh, that really has never been seen before inside of the network marketing or you know person-to-person -person marketing profession in probably close to 70 years that this has been a profession. Uh, ZJ International, the founder of our company is a gentleman by the name of Ken Brailsford. Uh, if you're not familiar with his name, you will recognize who the man is. Ken is known as the father of encapsulation. He's the first person to put medicinal herbs into gel caps, making it easier for the average person to be able to consume uh, you know, the benefits of these medicinal herbs. Uh, Ken Brailsford launched his very first company in the early 70s. Today, it's now been in business over 40 years. It's done multiple billions, that's B, billions of dollars in sales over the last 40 years. Uh, Ken went on to, in the, in the mid 80s, to launch a second company. Uh, today, now in business over 30 years, again, multiple billions in sales. Uh, Ken Brailsford has more experience, a more successful track record than any other company owner in the history of network marketing. And ZJ International is his third company. And when I first looked at this opportunity, these were the things that, that attracted my attention. I was looking for corporate leadership, ownership that had not only experience, but a successful track record. Uh, I looked for corporate leadership that had integrity because you cannot produce a long-term income opportunity without those three ingredients, successful track record, experience, and integrity. Uh, obviously, products are, are a critical uh, ingredient to long-term success. ZJ International, uh, we today are leading the natural health revolution. We were first to market with products made from the Moringa Olifera tree. You may want to do some research on that. Moringa Olifera, this was uh, recognized by the National Institutes in, uh, of Health, the uh, U.S. government's NIH, in 2008 as being the most nutrient-dense botanical they had ever studied. Uh, it's been used if, you know, for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years in traditional medicines for a variety of many, many different things to, to address. Uh, Moringa Olifera, we're, we were the first company to bring this to market. Uh, we still continue to be the leader in producing products based on Moringa Olifera. Uh, we have created an infrastructure uh, that rivals companies that have been in business decades and, and are literally billions of dollars a year in sales. Uh, today, we are 100% vertically integrated. We control the plantations our products, our raw materials are grown in. We own our own pharmaceutical grade manufacturing facility. We have 
literally now over 100,000 square feet of manufacturing, warehousing, distribution space, uh, corporate offices. Today's infrastructure in Zeej International, we could produce close to $2 billion a year in sales of our products with the current infrastructure we have that is bought and paid for, yet we're literally just a small fraction of that. This is why timing is so critical, and the person that asked you to join us on this broadcast, uh, they may have had a real sense of urgency to share this information with you, because we've seen this over the years. I've had the good fortune to be involved in this type of business now going back 30 plus years. And when you can find a company that has all the right ingredients, the experience at the corporate level, the infrastructure that can you know, keep pace with the growth of, of, a, of a company. And then you have the timing. This is where the fortunes are made. Today in Zeej International, although we're a relatively young company when, when in terms of the, uh, you know, the, the legacy companies in our industry, uh, we're already at the top, you know, maybe 95, 98% of companies that have ever existed in our profession because we've been in business over 10 years and we're approaching a billion dollars in cumulative sales. But what's more important that you need to pay attention to, we will literally double that in the next 36 months. Okay, this is the kind of growth that we have ahead of us. And so uh, what I want you to do is I want you to think about what would it be like if you could find a company that looks like a multi-decade, multi-billion dollar company in terms of of the infrastructure and the corporate team, but yet find them before the masses. What could being involved with that type of company do for you and your family and, and, and creating, you know, truly financial security and moving beyond that to financial prosperity? Uh, what I wanted to do this evening is I wanted to introduce you uh, to one of our team members. Uh, for those of you that have been involved with Zija for a while, uh, this is not going to be uh, somebody that's a stranger to you. Amy McKenzie. Uh, Amy, I'll just give you a heads up. I'm bringing you over to this side. Oh, there you go. Okay, very good looking, lovely with your, uh, your picture. There we go. Amy, you look lovely, my dear. Yeah, you're outside. How wonderful. Yeah, you hear me okay, Amy? I sure can. Am I coming through loud and clear? Uh, okay, you're going to want to speak up, okay? Or let me just check. Maybe it's me. Okay. That, uh, yeah, you're going to want to speak up best you can, all right? Um, all right, see if I can turn this up a little for you, too. Oh, okay, yeah. very good. Um, yeah, I was just going to say, I, I've invited Amy to join us. Uh, uh, for those of you that have been involved with the company, Amy is, is well known to you. She's one of the most recognizable people within the Zija community. She's an Emerald distributor. Uh, she's part of the Team Benz program, where the company is uh, literally paying for that shiny new Mercedes Benz that I've seen you driving around in. Uh, I've invited Amy to take a few minutes and share a little bit about her story and what's happened to her because I think for many people, uh, being able to be part of a company, if they're being in the right place at the right time, certainly is, is a lot better than being, you know, I guess, uh, what, you know, smart and good looking, you know. Uh, Amy and I have all four of those, right? <laughs> But uh, uh, Amy, uh, maybe we could start out because uh, uh, I want people to, to get an understanding of what happens when somebody, regardless of background, regardless of, you know, business experience, sales, marketing, even experience within network marketing, who follows a simple plan and commits to the long term, what can happen? Maybe we could start out uh, sharing a, a little bit about before Zija, uh, you know, what were you doing? Tell us a little bit about who you were before you joined Zija. Sure. Um, well, my background is professional theater, which I love. It's a wonderful career. And as everyone knows, there's not a whole lot of money in it, which wasn't a concern until I had this brilliant daughter who one day it struck me was going to end up in community college unless I did something drastically different. And I have to say, for me, if this had been something that required sales or, you know, anything that I wasn't fully 100% behind, I couldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it. Um, I had no background to begin with in that kind of area. When I, for me, saw that this was a way to providing something I believe in, 
I had an extraordinary experience on the Moringa products myself. Anything that works that good creates an opportunity and it's something I could get behind. And there's a whole nother world that opened up after that that I'll share, but I didn't know about starting out. All I saw was that this man, Ken Brailsford, was committed on a deep, spiritually prompted, as he says, level to bring this plant to the world because of its efficacy and all that it can do. And that I knew that he could do it. And then I had this system, thank you, Fred, that was simple, that I could follow, that it would allow me to return my credit card investment, which was a big deal for me as a single mom. I didn't use my emergency credit card, but I did because I saw that I was going to be taught by someone who knows how to do this. I would have the leadership with something that worked that I believed in. And the best part is I actually had a plan of a year to pay back that credit card, you know, assuming a learning curve. Can imagine my surprise when in 30 days I paid back the entire credit card I purchased my package with and went into profit. It's extraordinary. Well, that's my beginnings. You know, Amy, you know, several points I want to uh, uh, speak about. Uh, when you when you joined us, uh, you had one of the ingredients, and, and we talk about this in our training. What does it take to become a high-level income earner in, in ZH International? Uh, this mirrors every you know opportunity within the network marketing profession, but in particular with ZH International, you need willingness to work, willingness to learn, and a burning desire to succeed. And I guess one of the, you know when we first got a chance to speak, uh, what was uh, driving you was this realization that you wanted to give your daughter what would end up becoming an incredibly expensive education because uh, well value is a genius okay I mean you know she is I mean I if you say that you know people go well she's just a proud mother I'm saying that because she is she's a genius and she needed to have that level of education. So when you joined Zija, what were you actually doing for a living at that moment? Well, you know, in theater, um, I was working as a director, an actor, wonderful jobs. And whenever the show closes, there's an interim period of time, as most people know, where you take other work. Generally, it's in the service industry. Um, granted, I had experience, so I was at the management level. Uh, but, it, you know, in the meantime, I was also managing a, an apartment complex um, to be able to have the rent in the area I wanted her to be in, right, which was a nice area. Um, and I had another ancillary job as well uh, because I had no child support and no living parents, no safety net. So I was working three jobs when I started this. And I couldn't imagine how it would be possible to do this. And yet I knew you knew. And so I followed that system. And I, instead of, see, this is the thing. We don't have to stop our lives to begin doing Zija. It's why it worked for me, is that I, I could do my life and then interlace Zija in and out of it. 15 minutes on, one, on my way to one job, I'd call someone, share my experience, right? Because the beauty of this is that's really our only job, is to be authentic about our experience with someone. And if they're interested, they are. And if they're not, that's that works too, right? And if they are, I might, you know, call the next person I called yesterday back on the way to the next job. And then when I got home at night, I'd send them all an email. And if they were really interested in the business, I'd make an appointment to have them speak with you or Pat Anderson or someone that could share their success because everyone knew I didn't have one yet, but the people that were showing me how to do this did. And that's how it worked. You know, Amy, you just encapsulated all three things, three different jobs to make ends meet, okay? Investing in your your Zija products, uh, I, I remember you told me it was your emergency credit card, the one you didn't use for anything because, and I know I was raised by a single mom, the emergency credit card is called financial security for a single mom, right? That's called financial security. But you, you're working three jobs, so you had that characteristic of being, you know, good work ethics and being able to schedule your time to find 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there to build your Zija business. Number two, you talked about the system. Now, maybe you can take a moment and, and, uh, and share how long did it take you to figure out this system? Oh, great. I didn't. 
the beauty of it is I didn't have to figure anything out. All right, now I have to tell one on myself here. As a director, I'm used to running the show. And as a woman, nothing personal here, but we tend to take a system and the first thing we want to do is improve it. And we generally do. That's what I do. I improve systems. Suddenly I had a situation where for once in my life I had to surrender and just do what I was told. I knew that was the answer and that's exactly what I did. And I, I'm certain that if I had come in to a company that didn't have the level of leadership training that we have, I would be one of those statistics that says, oh, network marketing doesn't work. And I would have never understood all that it provides because it's way more than I even had, than you have time for me to share on this call that I've learned about not, you know, just Zija, because if you're going to be in an industry, being the best company there is, but the industry itself has provided a whole nother topic that we can touch on if you want. It's been thrilling what I've, what I've come away with, the gift that this has given me by following three simple steps, exactly like I was told to long before I see, I like to know everything first. And I understood, don't wait to know anything, share what's true for you. You even help me do that, right? In about a minute. And as a result of not waiting till I knew everything and became an expert, letting the experts do their job, I actually started making paychecks. I mean, I did not expect that. I had no idea what I was doing. Suddenly I've got a paycheck in my mailbox for $200 that first week. I couldn't believe it. Um, that's never happened to me before. Well, you, you, you are one of the people I think that that's been the, the greatest pleasure and joy to work with because what you brought to the table was all that you were supposed to bring, all you needed to bring, good work ethics, coachability, follow the system, and that burning desire to succeed. And I know one of the burning desires to succeed was to make sure you could cover the credit card payment <laughs> that, you, that you put your initial order on. Uh, Amy, you have grown tremendously over the last couple of years. You're now a documented, uh, now multiple six-figure income earner. You're driving that beautiful Mercedes. Life is a lot different for you today. And, and I know one of the things, uh, you know, you, there's a lot of things that happen. You've just been recently recognized by, uh, what is it, the, the National Women's Leadership Organization. Forgive me, I'm sure I got that wrong. But maybe you can, with the couple of minutes we have left, Maybe talk just a little bit about something that's very meaningful to you, which is what the, what the network, network marketing profession can bring to one's life. Yeah, you know, it's interesting for an artist and considering myself an open-minded person, I really wasn't. I didn't realize that I had really made sort of an ignorant decision and written off the whole thing, assuming that it was, you know, it's unfortunate that uh, some of the early people in the industry were so salesman oriented that I think they just kind of gave it a tainted feeling to it. That's not been my experience at all. Um, what I've discovered is that, well, this is one of my very favorite things about it. There is no discrimination of any kind. Think about it. What industry do you know, any profession, where some element of the following list is incorporated, whether it's your educational level, your social strata, your where you live, um, age, race, creed, color, nothing matters except, that, as you mentioned, a willingness to work, a willingness to learn, and a burning desire to succeed. Those are the job qualifications. That's why I was able to succeed, and I love that going forward because it doesn't matter what level you come in. It doesn't matter what your goals are. My commitment as someone helping someone on a team, my team members, is to find out what you care about and help you attain that. And I have the privilege of doing that now for other people because of my success. And so my second, which is actually my, my very favorite thing, is the service aspect. I knew that I had to create a way for my daughter to have the kind of life that she was capable of having. But it had to match who I am. It had to sit and be grounded in integrity and had, had to have an element of service. This is all service. And then my third favorite component is how can you be effective in service if you haven't been authentic with yourself? So personal development is actually the foundation of all of it. So my team knows I say this all the time, wherever you go, there you are. You, I've never seen a mirror that is as clear as this work because you will be in your face immediately 
and you will know when someone's eyes glaze over that you were more concerned about your own agenda than actually getting over there with someone else and finding out what matters to them. And I absolutely love that about this work. Oh, Amy, that, that training was golden. You, you hit the nail <laughs> on the head. Um, uh, we were on a team call together. I used one of my favorite little lines. Everybody listens to the same radio station. WIFM, what's in it for me? And so often, as network marketers, novice network marketers, we try to tell people about our products, tell people about our opportunity, uh, but that is clearly one of the reasons why not only have you been so successful, but you've created so much success within your organization by modeling that principle of focusing on the other individual, what are their needs, their desires, their goals, and how can we help them? And uh, J. Paul Getty is the guy that uh, was credited with the statement, you help enough people get what they want, you're going to have everything you want. Uh, Amy, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you joining us. Uh, uh, we're going to have more top opportunities to, to share information with the team. Tonight was a short uh, uh, little snippet of, uh, of the company and the opportunity and the potential for people. Uh, thanks for joining us, Amy. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. Actually, we're flying out of L.A. together, aren't we? That's right. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll see you at LAX uh, on the way to the big convention in uh, Salt Lake in about three weeks. Thank you, Amy. I'm gonna say Sounds great. Thank you so All much. Right. All right. Take care. Have a great evening, Amy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, let me put this there. Let Amy go back. Um, you, you've had just a, a, a brief exposure uh, to what will be the company that 10, 20, 30 years from now, people will be talking about, uh, you know, as being a legacy company. ZG International has put together all of the ingredients necessary to create true long-term substantial residual income. And for those of you that are perhaps looking at ZG for the first time, the timing is perfect. We've watched other companies over the industry and in that literally just a couple of dozen companies that have obtained that multi-decade, multi-billion dollar legacy status the people that join those companies at the stage that ZG International is in terms of its growth curve, getting in before the masses, this is where the true wealth has been uh, obtained, uh, in many cases, intergenerational wealth. So as I promised in conclusion here, for those of you that, that you know, are with us this evening, or maybe you've been uh, directed to the, uh, the, the replay of the broadcast, a couple of things. First of all, the person that asked you to be part of this presentation, they have resources and access to information to answer all your questions. Uh, we do weekly broadcasts with Pat Anderson, one of our top income earners in ZJ International, focused entirely on the product. We have business presentations. We have um, uh, training opportunities. As a matter of fact, a little program note, Saturday morning, uh, this coming Saturday morning, 10 o'clock Pacific, one o'clock in the afternoon, East Coast time, uh, I will be hosting a, uh, a, a new distributor training. What a brand new person who's never been involved in network marketing, what they need to know to develop their Zija business. And then I'm going to also be addressing how to get off to a fast start. Because in just a few short weeks, we will be having uh, the ZG International's 11th anniversary celebration in Salt Lake City, that's where our company's headquarters are, uh, there will be people who have not even been involved in ZJ yet as of, we, uh, as of this moment we're speaking, that if you get in on that training on Saturday morning, there will be people that will literally hit ranks of bronze and silver and gold between now and the time of convention. A uh, person that has asked you to be part of this broadcast, they'll give you the information on how to be able to attend those broadcasts. Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and close things down for the evening. Thanks for joining us. Uh, special thanks to, um, uh, to, uh, to Amy McKenzie for joining us and sharing her story with us. Uh, with that, we'll say good night and uh, look forward to seeing you on the uh, Saturday morning new distributor training. Have a wonderful evening. Take care.